Now children, let's come to the types of plastic. I told you. Now it will be very easy for you to understand the types of plastic because you have already learned the arrangement of units. I said there are two types of plastics earlier. I told you this. Number one is thermoplastic. Another one is thermosetting plastics. When I speak for thermoplastics, I just say one word to it. Plastics which can get deformed easily. You can easily give any shape on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastic. You can deform, you can bend, you can give a shape easily. So probably children if I ask you which type of arrangement you can see in thermoplastic, your answer will be linear arrangement. Easy. When the word easy, it is linked with thermoplastic. Example is polythene. There are different shapes of polythene you can see in the market. Another example is PVC. The question arises, ma'am, what is PVC? P means poly. V means vinyl. V I N Y L. And C means chloride. So the full name becomes poly vinyl chloride. Where you can use this PVCs? They are used to make pipes. Plastic pipes. So here we comes that thermoplastics are the plastics which can be easily deformed on heating, can be given any shape. Arrangement is linear. Examples are common examples are polyethene and PVC that is polyvinyl chloride. Now we come to the next type of plastic that is thermosetting plastics. Opposite, exactly opposite. Plastic which when molded once, given once a shape, cannot be softened, deformed by heating. These are called thermosetting plastic. So here again it will be easy for you to make me understand or you can understand which type of arrangement is that. This is cross linked arrangement. So thermosetics just if you know one type of plastic children you can easily explain the second one. Thermoplastic, easily deformed. Thermosetting, cannot be easily deformed. Type of arrangement, linear. Type of arrangement, cross link. Examples, polythene, polyvinyl. There are so many. Thermosetting, the two common examples of thermosetting, which I am giving, giving you, there are more, which I will explain you in the next class. But the two common example is Bakelite and melamine. The common example is Bakelite and melamine. Children, these two common examples, that is Bakelite and melamine, there are certain property of these two plastics are there. And it is very, very important which I will explain you in an elaborate way the two examples of thermosetting, why they are important and what is the main characteristics of Bakelite and melamine and why they have given these two names and given under the category of thermosetting plastics. I hope you understand the topics today, whatever topics I have covered and it is clear to you. If any doubt regarding any topic, please contact me through Campus Care. Thank you children. Have a nice day.